channel. Today we're going to be doing a humongous Morphe haul here on my channel. So I know you guys know that I've purchased Morphe a lot in the past and this is probably the biggest order that I've ever placed and I'll get into the reasons why. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, then oh, welcome to my channel. Make sure before you leave, you do not forget to subscribe. Down below it's a little button and if you click it, you will be subscribed for future videos for me. If you guys like hauls, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep doing them. And yeah, if you would like to see what I picked up at Morphe, then just keep watching. All of the brushes are in this bag. Whenever I got this, I was like, really? How do they fit all the brushes in this little bag? But anyway, whoop, whoop, here are all the goodies. So I picked up a ton of brushes and the reason why is because I did some like makeup events in the past and stuff, but I'm really working on getting my complete kit like done and for a long time like I haven't had a full setup to work with so anyways I decided to get a lot of brushes I have one of my best friend's weddings this year and I have a couple other little events that I'm doing so I wanted to grab some more brushes that I wanted to try for Morphe and then some that I already have because I know that I love them and I want to put those in my kit as well so yeah here's all the brushes that I got so we'll go through these I also was going to include the Morphe Me subscription this month and it hasn't got here yet and I was so bummed but excited kind of it's kind of weird but every time they always post online like what you're getting and I'm like oh, no I didn't want to know like I love surprises and that's why I love like subscription boxes I actually ordered two of the brushes that came in the Morphe Me subscription this month like I said they haven't got here but I was like well I guess I'll have backups of those so anyways I don't even know where to start. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start with the eye brushes and then we'll move along to the face brushes also. Okay, so if you guys do not know about Morphe, I'll leave all their information linked down below as far as their website and stuff, but they do carry makeup and they carry brushes and their brushes, I feel like, is what they're really, really known for because they are very inexpensive, but they are still great quality brushes. In my opinion, I don't have a lot of the brushes that like I purchased this time, but I have a lot of their elite brushes and those are my favorite favorite from all the brushes that they offer. They are more pricey, but they're so soft. But yeah, I got quite a few like duplicates in this haul because like I said, they're going to go in my kit. So I want to make sure I had lots of things to put in there. Okay. So literally the first brush I got four of. And the reason why is because this to me looks like a really, really good blending brush. And my friend Kelsey recommended it for me. And then also I saw that it was in Jaclyn Hill's favorite. So I was like, okay, I trust both of their opinions. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I'm gonna get more than one. So that way I can have one and I can have some for my kit. So this is what the brush looks like. It is the M433 brush. And it is like a really nice blending brush. But honestly, as far as this brush goes, like you can never have enough of these brushes because even if you like, put on your transition color with it and then you want to go blend something out they're really good blending brushes too and they're really nice and fluffy so yeah that is the morphe m433 and literally this is why i waited to get all these brushes it's sold out it always sells out and i like have been checking for days and days and days and when i saw it come back in i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna get like four of them because i think they had them on sale they were really really inexpensive maybe like four dollars or so four or five so yeah, M433, I'll let you guys know how I like it. Okay, so the next brush I purchased is an E18. This is what the brush looks like right here. And I actually already own this brush and I love it for a couple different reasons. So it's a really, like it's not too small, too short haired, it's like perfect. And I like this for a couple things. I can use it to like pack on that inner corner highlight, which is amazing. You can also blend out your lower lash line with it. And then also you can get right up in that crease with this brush as well. And this is one of the elite brushes. Like I said, the elite brushes are my absolute favorite and I think they are really good quality brushes for the price. So again, that's the E18 brush. So like I said, some of these I'm going to be using as well. So if I bought more than one, then more than likely I'll be using it and then I'll be putting some back too. So this is the Morphe M432. And here's what it looks like. And it's a flat definer brush. I really like these brushes. I think this one was $3.99, I believe. They're having like a lot of sales on their website. And then also, of course, you can always find like a 10% off code. But anyways, this brush is really soft. Well, wow. so what you can use it for, this brush is a jack of all trades. So you can use it as well to get up underneath your lash line and tight line your lash line. And if you don't know what that means, 
it basically means just like putting eyeshadow up like super super close to your lash line and then another thing you can do is you can use it with concealer if you want to conceal up underneath your brow bone so that way it looks more defined and those kind of things but I love these brushes and I think this one looks really nice so far it's really really soft so love that so far and that's the Morphe M432 okay so then I purchased the Morphe M502 so I did get two of these as well and here's what they look like this is going to be a really good brush to lay down your transition color because it's going to go on very smooth and it's very like fluffy. I like keep saying that, but you know what I mean? Like it's a really good brush to just kind of buff everything in to go back in after additional colors, smooth it all out. And let me show you the difference between this and the M433. So as you can see, the M433, which is the white one, it is actually shorter bristles. Um, not a whole lot, but still a little bit shorter. And then it's also like more dense where this one right here, which is the M502, obviously it's a lot more fluffy and kind of better for buffing out. So again, the black haired brush is the M502. And I always like to repeat the numbers because Morphe has like so many like M, blah, blah, blah. It's always like a letter and then like three numbers. So sometimes I get them confused whenever I go to like order stuff online. So it can be a little confusing. Okay, so the next one is the M441 and it's very similar to the one I just showed, but it's a little bit taller and it's a little bit more dense as well. This is the M441 and here is what that looks like. But yeah, another really great eyeshadow brush. I just obviously have a theme of getting blending brushes on this haul or there's a lot more left but yeah those are like essentials i feel like everybody needs you can never have enough blending brushes because even when you think your eyeshadow is blended it's never going to hurt to blend some more trust me sometimes i'll be like girl your eyes are blended and then i'll look in the mirror or i'll take a picture and i'll be like what is that harsh line up in that brow? Normally that's what I have. I'm just like right up underneath my brow. But anyways, okay, moving on. All right, so then I picked up a E39 brush. And here is what that looks like, the E39. Obviously, it is a very, very teeny tiny lip brush, which is really going to be good, especially for getting in like the actual lip shape of the lips. I typically don't use lip brushes a lot, but I do need to get better at using them, especially on myself because... What happens is a lot of times I just get in the funk where I always wear liquid lipsticks, but it's really good to get around the outer corners of your lip because sometimes I just get sloppy and then it's like, oh, half of your lip's a little bit bigger than the other half. So yeah, I picked up a M330. Again, this is a, another blending brush. I just went on a blending brush craze, obviously. All right, moving on to face brushes because those are a little bit more interesting. <laughs> All right, so I did pick up five face brushes and I'm really excited about the ones that I purchased. So I picked up the M501 brush. So this is what the M501 looks like. But it's a really great brush for highlighting. There was a span where I literally did not pick up another highlight brush for like a couple months because this one is just so perfect. It's really nice and tiny. It's really great for doing the nose and down the bridge of the nose and the cupid's bow. It's just really, really tiny, but it just, gets the job done and the bristles are so soft. I really, really like this brush and that's the M501 brush. Okay, so the next one is the M403 and here's what that looks like. And I really like this one. Um, look if you can see how tight it is down at the ferrule right here, but I really do like it. I think this one would be really good for contouring, honestly, like just a very blended contour. You could also put blush on either side and you can just kind of dab it on, but I'm really excited to try this brush. I think it will really work great for those two things and I can't wait to see which one I like it more for. Oh, then I got some Duo Fiber brushes. I love Duo Fiber brushes. So I actually ended up picking up another one of the M462 brushes and this is what it looks like right here. I actually already have one of these and I love it. What I really like to do with this brush is just use it to like blend everything out. I feel like blending everything out can just make the biggest difference in your makeup. Like I used to never do it before I really got into makeup. And then once I started blending it out, I was like, oh my gosh, my makeup looked like a whole new world. <laughs> so anyways, like what I like to do is let's say I do my 
contour and blush and oh my gosh I didn't even put on a highlight today highlight which is normally like right in this area I'll just swirl it around in circular motions and then that way it looks really smooth so it's not like choppy like you have the um ice cream palette on your face chocolate strawberry and vanilla at the top so yeah this is the morphe m462 and again this is one of uh, my favorite brushes for the duo fiber brushes I think it is excellent another duo fiber is the M427 and this is what it looks like right here again just another really nice duo fiber brush you can also use these for foundation to just get like a really airbrushed look this one also would be really good for like really pigmented blushes and it's also really great to have like duo fiber brushes especially if you're a fan of ColourPop because their shadows blushes those kind of things they do work better in my opinion with the duo fiber brushes okay last but not least because this is like literally one of my favorite brushes at the moment but this is the morphe m527 and i'm so excited because this is actually one of the brushes that are going to be in the morphe me subscription this month so is the m501 the highlight brush i talked about and then there was another brush that's very similar to to the tapered highlight brush by sigma it's like the exact same thing but those are the three that will be in the morphe me subscription since I won't be like unboxing it for you guys I probably won't unbox that like every single month because some months it's like three brushes like like I don't want to come on here for like one minute and 30 seconds and be like oh hey here's my three brushes you know what I mean but then I'm like oh it's not really a surprise because they show it all over social media so I'm kind of looking into about that but I still have like more unboxings boxycharm and ipsy and ipsy actually sent me a thing like giving me a sneak peek I deleted it it was really hard but anyways okay back to the brushes this is the last one this is the m527 and this brush is super bomb a lot of people compare it to one of the mac brushes i don't know the number right now but i have been obsessed with this for contouring because it doesn't give you like a chiseled out face <laughs> like it's just very like natural looking and i know you guys have commented on the fact that I've been doing more like natural looks and I feel like that's one thing too that's really helped with my more natural face is the fact that I've been using this brush but I really really like this brush if there is a brush that I would recommend for you to pick up if you are going to make a Morphe purchase it would definitely be this one because I absolutely love it like I wanted to jump up and down when I realized that that was what's coming in my Morphe subscription box. So again, the Morphe M527. So yeah, that's going to complete my Morphe brush haul. As a lot of you guys know, like if you follow me on Snapchat and those kind of things, and I always leave it down below if you don't follow me, snap me, let's be snap friends. But I have been on this like brush kick. Like y'all know I do like a lot of hauls on my channel and what will happen is I'll get in like a rut I guess you would say that's what I always call it, a rut like a you know a spunk or like you know where like you don't really like what's going on I don't know how to explain it so what I'll do is I will like be focused on something it's like I've been really wanting to try out more brushes and the reason why is because for like the longest time what I did was I like only wanted one brand of like everything so like when I really got into makeup I was like oh mac everything like I only could use mac brushes and I could only use mac everything like foundation blush brows eyeliner and then finally I like convinced myself to go to Sephora and that's whenever I like really got into like all the different brands so you know for the most part my collection is Morphe Sigma and MAC brushes and not that those are bad I really like them but I also want to venture out and try more brushes so just so you guys know like I've been on a brush spree here lately so if you want to see like the brushes that I get like each brand then just let me know leave a comment down below and thumbs up this video because I'll definitely do that but let me know your favorite brush brands down below like I said be expecting like some more brushes getting thrown up in my videos thrown up I mean that sounded kind of gross but anyways just expect that because it's definitely happening I'm definitely gonna order some I'm currently looking at a couple Wayne Goss brushes and I'm like oh gosh it's hurting my heart like looking at those prices but really they're really not that bad it's just like you know I like to get stuff all at one time so then it's like oh not so fun but anyways sorry for that little ramble at the end I really hope you enjoyed this video I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video bye